One of the new features in Tableau 2019.2 is the addition of vector maps. Now to show you this, I've actually have to have 2019.1 and 2019.2 open, and I'm going to be showing you the difference between the two because the difference is very subtle, but it changes the way the visualization works in a very meaningful way. You can see here I'm in Tableau 2019.2.7. And if you just look at this base map, uh, this is the light map. I've got a 20% washout here on the top left. And as I add detail to this, you can see that it almost it's almost instantaneous. The information just comes on as if it's like a layer being painted onto the visualization. Uh, the visualization doesn't reload. It doesn't uh, need to sort of um, reload in squares as you might have seen in previous versions. And this is the benefit of a vector map. In contrast, if I go to 2019.1, as I switch these on, you can see that the transition is almost loading small squares. And that's actually because of the way the mapping layers work. Prior to 2019.2, the maps actually load individual images for each of these segments, these squares. And that's why you see the sort of square mosaic loading style. And every time you add on a layer, it's actually got to go out onto the internet and query the specific image for this combination of map layers. So a base, land, cover, coastline, light, and light country. There's every single variation of these different images available on the internet and it's loading them and loading them in. Now, on a vector map, that works slightly differently because what a vector map does is it actually stores the mathematical information to draw that information. So what travels up and down the telephone line is actually just the mathematical information, the numbers, the numbers that generate what we see. So as we add and hide things, Tableau hasn't got to re-render things or go and get the images and load them in again. It just simply computes that in a vector format in the view. The other added advantage is that zooming is a lot smoother. If you see those two clicks of the zoom function as we zoom into Germany, you'll see that they were very smooth and more detailed surface as soon as we're able to see it. You can just see here the sort of road layout appearing um, on, the, on the map. And if we keep zooming in, you can see the waterways uh, appearing as well. But as we zoom out, that information is taken away. Now, if we go back to the 2019.1 version, as we zoom in, Every single time we zoom in, it's actually got to reload those squares every single time. And it's not as smooth. And as we go in, you'll also see here that even though if we select the streets and highways, it's got to reload everything again. And if we zoom back out, it's got to load those again at a different zoom level. So it just leads to this smoother uh, experience with maps when we're using vector maps. Now, the other thing to note is that Tableau have actually added some new map styles as well. So we now have these three new, really, really nice vector maps. If I go to London as an example, um, when we zoom into the center of London, you can see here that more information reveals itself. So street signs reveal themselves, tube stations reveal themselves. And as we keep going in onto Trafalgar Square, you'll see that as we get closer and closer, we even get street markings appearing on the road. Now, I could actually add a little bit more context, let's say maybe water labels, points of interest, neighborhoods, and you can see this map gets extremely, extremely rich. If I zoom back out, now we've got building footprints available to us. And this is just a level of detail that was never possible before with tiled maps. But with vector maps, it's really smooth, it's fast, and it loads really, really quickly on a range of devices. We also have an outdoor map style, which is slightly more geared towards sports. And the last one is satellite maps. This is another big addition. Uh, the benefit here is that you can actually have a satellite background layer on top of the vector information. So it just adds a little bit more context and uh, information to the view. If you found this video useful, hit subscribe. If not, drop a comment, let us know what kind of content you'd like to see, and I'll catch you in the next one.